and welcome to Gadget Show Web TV. Now, for all of you gaming fans out there, here's Dion with the latest look at what's happening in the world of gaming. Driver San Francisco takes you through the iconic streets of America's famous city in some amazing cars and is looking set to become one of this year's must-have racing titles. We had a chance to have a drive at this year's E3 and chat to the MD of Ubisoft, Gareth Edmondson. Well, my name's Gareth Edmondson. I'm the MD of uh, Reflections, Ubisoft's UK studio, here representing Driver San Francisco. We've got a lot more content in, so there's a lot more things to do in the game. We've refined quite a lot of the gameplay as well, added more online modes, improved the graphical quality, you know, really ev every area we've been into, we've, uh, we've improved as much as we can. There's only one thing I need. A car that can handle my rage. A car with real muscle. Multiplayer is huge in this game. It's, uh, we've got 11, uh, 11 online modes. But because of the innovation that we have in the game called Shift, which allows you to instantaneously swap from one vehicle to another, it brings a whole new dimension to online driving action. So it actually brings sort of the first person shooter style action, where you can have, you know, like kill shots and instant, instant takedowns and stuff like that. Um, it brings about a much, much, uh, much improved and much more variety in the type of gameplay you can have online. So it's a huge deal. We decided to, to, to be uh, as, as sort of varied as we possibly could with the car selection. So we haven't really gone along the usual lines that you see in games where it's all just exotic cars. I think. One of the key things is, is the handling and how the cars feel in driver and, and you know sort of loose tail happy slides that you get from the muscle cars. So that's really very, very much part of it is that uh, when people pick up and play it, it'll, it'll take them back to the original driver. We sent a team over to San Francisco a couple of years ago now and they, they walked almost the whole, <laughs> the whole city with uh, video cameras and uh, stills cameras. But we do stylize the city because we need, to, we need to take care of gameplay first and foremost. So we might have the right areas in the right places, but we always make sure that it feels right, but we crunch it up together a little bit more to make it more fun and, and see the variety. You know, if you drive from one end of San Francisco to the other, it'll take hours, which will be a bit boring in a game, so we stylize it for that reason. 